right, here we are with the uh, jackhammer repair. Uh, it failed me on the last job. We had power. We knew we had power because we had the green light that was still on. But every time we hit the switch, nothing was happening. So typically in all these devices, usually the switch is what goes bad first. So I just took a wild shot in the dark and I'm going to replace the switch. Here's the switch. This is the Makita 1810 model, 70 pounder. Here's the new switch. So it's pretty simple. You just take out the, these are Allens. I already loosened them. Two washers. You got a washer and a lock washer on every, every bolt. Well, that comes off. That movement you see right there, that's what actually triggers the switch inside. This item right here was over this holding the switch. This is holding the switch in place. So there's two screws. Two screws that hold this down, which holds that switch in place. Remove that. Then the switch comes out. Got some excess. You got a lot of excess wire in here. So it gives you some space to pull this up. So here's what we got. We've got two reds on this side of the switch We've got two whites on this side so now all we have to do is take these two bolt two screws out and put them here the two red wires go on this side and then we'll try it out and see if it works All right, we did the switch and uh, we did get it to work right now on a test run, but then it shut off again really quickly. So I started messing with the cord itself and it happens to be, it's something within here because I twisted, as I twisted this, I was able to get it to work. So in other words, it was never the switch to begin with. It was always this cord. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this off right here and get a new, uh, new adapter here put that on and that should solve it real quickly but we do have a new switch in here now so and i'll save the other one just in case the new switch fails i'll still have the backup old one and i'm pretty sure that one still works too all right all right i just got the key ingredient to make this thing work again this is it so whenever you have a problem basically with one of these machines if you're gonna do the switch, you might as well just get the cord at the same time. Although I did save some money going this route because this is only about $3. And the switch itself was about $20, so not bad. I think the cord alone, if you were to get that from Makita, is about $45, so um, if this works, I just saved a bunch, I saved about $50, basically. Works like a charm, just like new. So my first indication uh, when we were working the other day and it failed to turn on was we had, where's that little light? Oh, here's the light. This light was flickering on and off and it was very dim. 
and when we push the switch it would just go out completely so i first assumed well it's probably the switch replace that twenty dollars delivered then we still had the same issue after i put the switch in so i started wiggling the cord around and that was three dollars So $25 and we got a brand new machine basically that functions just like it's designed to. Anyway, thanks for watching and it's very simple. It took us about 20 minutes total to do this little operation. See you later.